Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another morning here in the backyard in Grounded, aka Bug Game. And for once, we're actually not at the base. Don't do it, beast. Let me, let me pass. No, let me pass. But uh, yes, yeah, so we're immediately starting this episode with running over to. Stop, stop, stop. Let me be. Let me, <laughs> let me be. Get it, because you're a bumblebee. No, but seriously, please, I don't want to have to kill you. I will, though, if you keep pursuing me. Actually, I, sh I should lose you on the zip line. But yes, we're heading on over to the sand pit yet again for hopefully the last time. Dude, this bee really, uh, really does not want to let me go. All right, well, there we go. Now, we now he has no choice. Oh, I'm so slow. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there we go. All right, save me, zip line. <laughs> Okay, there we go. But yes, so you peeps bombarded me in the comments with the knowledge of what and where this, like, the, the chest key to the moat is. And it's, it has to do with the shovel, because I am a silly goose, peeps. Because the answer was staring me in the face for just the entire time, because it's... Uh, well, I mean, what time is it? Do we have time? We do have time. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to go into the to the outpost real quick. All right, here we go. And if we were to look at this diagram, and I actually used my brain, this is a clock. It's so obviously a clock now that I know it's a clock. And these are the hands of said clock. This represents the shadow of the shovel, which I, didn't, I, I, I just did not piece that together. I had no idea why these were the way they were but if we look at this this is 12 1 2 3 30 so at 3 30 the shadow of the handle of the shovel will show us where to dig to get the key i don't know why i didn't piece that together because like i said now that i know it's a clock it's so it's so obvious so i'm i'm a little silly goose but here we go it is 807 we have Plenty of time. I, I probably didn't need to rush over here as quickly as I did. But over here, eventually, this thing will show us where the key is. Okay, so right now it's right here. So I wonder I wonder if I could predict where it goes. So, no, I don't want the torch. Uh, give me my shield. Okay, so uh, where does it go? So is it going to go this way or this way? I guess, hold on. Let's, uh, okay, okay, so this way. All right, so let's go on this path to see if I can find where to dig, or if it's like, I literally just have to wait till 3.30. I think I might actually have to wait till 3.30. Is it coming though? Oh, it is. It is It is slowly moving. All right, I'll, uh, I'll bring you peeps back at, uh, at, at three. All righty, peeps, it is almost time. So where, here's the thing. Okay, all right, I will not leave. The oh! The buried treasure, yes! Yes! What is this? Oh, wow. I mean, obviously it's the key, but like, <laughs> why does it look so weird? Okay, the melted moat key. Oh, that's probably why it looks weird. It's literally yeah, melted. All right, amazing. <laughs> we finally have it. All right, now we get to see, was it even worth it, peeps? Like, does this chest have anything actually good in it? I can't remember what the minotaur maze chest had so hopefully ooh, we'll take this i am very low on thirst uh, slurp 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 oh that was actually a lot all right but yes i can't remember what the minotaur chest had so hopefully this is really good i think it had like a molar in it and some other stuff so i'm expecting similar things all right where where is it is it on this side did i pass it already i honestly don't remember i think it is over here though all right and Oh, is it? Can I can I just not see it? I'm pretty sure. No, there it is. All right, sploosh. Okay, peeps, here we go. Melted moat key and oh, ooh, paper. Okay, well, uh, yes, to a milk molar and some sort of a recipe. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, oh, let me equip my water thing so I don't so I don't die. Okay, wait. No, actually, I think my water thing was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, just in case I need to read this in the water. Okay, a note detailing how to make a particularly deadly weapon. Let's see, hmm, this is, oh, wow, this is actually words. This is, stop moving, the test, I don't know. I, I'll, I, don't, I don't know what this says, peeps. I'm, I'm sure it says something probably funny. It's probably assault morning star. Oh, wow, and it's a tier three weapon, okay. Hey, dude, the stud. 
That's not as high as the as the mace, but its speed isn't that bad. Wow. It's got the same speed as the sword? Assault glob, gum nuggets, and of course, tough dunk. Oh, that looks really cool. Wow, it literally is just a handle, a glob of gum, and salt like shards. Okay, that's actually really appealing. Like the stun and speed, because the A-Line Greatsword, oh, wow, I guess. Oh, I did not think the greatsword. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I was looking at the speed. Yeah, the headline greatsword has garbage stun. So we're not really getting like vulnerable moments to attack the enemy. But oh, I don't know, peeps. I think the morning star might be the way we go. I'm kind of sad that it's like salt. I wish it was kind of a neutral weapon because some things resist salt. But I don't know. That's, that's pretty good. Are there snails and slugs? Like, is there a slug boss that we could potentially kill? But yeah, that's actually really cool. Okay, I I am happy with that. I will say that is worth it. All right, now we need to head back to base, sleep through the night, and we're going to the pond lab today, peeps. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> that that actually scared me. Oh, okay, okay, no, stop. I'm so sick of ant lions. But uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you peeps at the pond lab, or I guess just at the pond in general. Oh, wait, you know what, peeps? You know what I need to make that uh, you peeps? <laughs> really? Man, y'all laid into me in the comments. They're up there. I, I was talking about how there wasn't flippers, right? It turns out there are flippers and I have had them unlocked. And apparently when I said, when I was complaining about there not being flippers, like my mouse was apparently hovering over this. So <laughs> I apologize. Uh, of course, I need a water boatman fin and also lily pad wax, so dang it. I need to go back to the pond to make this anyway. But if I'm going to be at the pond, I might as well just do the lab, right? I don't know. We'll see if it's a, a multi-trip kind of journey or if we can get the lab done in one. But I'll go ahead and kill another water boatman and get some more lily pad wax. And if we ever need to come back to base, I can make the fin flops. Oh my gosh. I feel so, so amazingly silly for completely somehow whiffing that like i noticed like right at the beginning of the video when i was editing too i'm like i'm like oh my god they're right there i knew you peeps were gonna we're just gonna demolish me <laughs> for missing that all right let's go ahead consume some stuff uh oh yes actually i am glad to get spoiled meat because we need it to to help the growth of these hey yeah muscle sprouts all right there we go and speaking of the spoiled meat let's go ahead and grab it oh Look at this, peeps. Look. Look at all the spoiled meat. We're going to have very quick growth. There we go. Yeah, look at that. 30%. How do I get the green thumb chance to go higher? I did it once, but I don't remember how I did it. All right. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and put this stuff away. I will see you peeps at the pond. All righty, peeps. Let's head on down to this area again. Heck, I thought I heard something terrible. Oh, it was probably that spider. All right, give me that bubble. Oh, I missed it. Okay, well, hopefully we don't drown again. There we go. The T-Rex <laughs> scared me yet again. Okay, no no wasting time. Let's just go. I don't need the, the fish scale armor, even though I would really like it, and we don't need sunken bones anymore. Oh, but it's right here. It's right here, peeps. Oh, it's not even fish scales. I've been deceived. Okay, uh, if I go into this, will it speed us up? It will. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. That's so fun. Oh, that was awesome. What is this? I discovered the pond lab. Interesting. So I need to, oh, okay. So I bet, oh wait, but this door is open over here. Interesting. So I I'm assuming that relates to all the hatches we found. Like we can go in those hatches. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wow. This is, this is dark. It's a good thing I have my, light thing oh i i must i i left that at home i don't have my light thing all right oh this is just open all right fair enough <laughs> yeah i was i was wondering hmm, why is this place uh, underwater maybe wendell would be smart and make it airtight but uh there's a giant hole in it oh my gosh okay i'll take some of this now i hate i hate that space does that there we go and i'll take these i uh i'll leave all the raw tadpole meat in here how is this still fresh I'll never know. All right, what's in here? Ooh, yes. Hey, water boatman things. Okay, cool. So I don't need to go and, and seek one out to kill one. All right, we have 80 seconds left on, on our oxygen here. I'm hoping 
we come across air relatively soon that would uh, be nice for our survival. Yes, air has been achieved. All right, let's go ahead and put on some proper gear. All right, spider, spider. All right, here we are. Yay, we have one of these. Wait, the great cabbage of Belgium? <laughs> oh, wait, oh. Oh. Yours truly looks at Brussels sprouts, the great cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. Ah. Oh. Within its densely packed leaves. A lot of hate for Brussels sprouts in this game. In a miniature form factor. And yet meal time after meal time, it is recklessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind oh. why, though. But I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one better. A Brussels sprouts from Belgium? Are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A uh -huh. closed loop system complete with retractable soil. Is this where he made, like, the muscle sprouts? Dr. Tully, it is almost time for your appointment. Appointment? Already? Huh. The joys of getting older. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. Plate of wet ham? Very well, mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. Applebaum? Okay, there's a, a rotten version of the slime lantern here. Wonder what's the difference? A decaying lantern for exploring underwater. Still has some life left in it. Okay. I guess that's nice to get. Maybe it just has a lower durability. Oh, wow. Okay, a lot of slime mold stocks, a lot of uh, good stuff here. And just like that, my inventory is already full. <laughs> I, again, I wish we had a backpack of sorts, okay? A uh, hams test, day one. Initial diagnostics indicate that everything is in working order and ready to begin the Brussels sprouts live testing phase using the automated hydroponic aquaculture microponic system, or... Hams. Okay, fair enough. Burgle's task of cultivating the biodome mycelium network seems to have not been a complete failure, and signals are detectable in all extremities. Okay, cool. The biodome operational grow nodes operational nitration ni nitration system operational fungal network active surprisingly. Harvesting is typically 90 days out, but initial tests show small sprouts are ready within the span of a week. Oh, how nice. So is he growing like life-size muscle sprouts? And the small sprouts are what like we can use because we are also small? We'll look to optimize that further, keeping in mind a certain level of structural integrity is required to scale them up to a nearly grapefruit size. W. Okay, cool, cool, ham. I like ham, you peeps like ham? Pretty, pretty neat. Power grid control. Aha, uh -huh, something tells me this won't work. Pull question mark? Oh. Right, right, right. So I need to go find where the breakers are. I knew this wouldn't be easy, peeps. Okay, well, um, I guess what, what can we continue doing here? Oh, another bed with uh, fiber bandages. When, oh, gosh. Hi. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's an arc, dude! Oh, no, don't do that to me! Ow! Okay, I'm guessing I was supposed to, like, be slowly introduced to these guys before, like, having them in the assistant manager fight. But, uh, they all just kind of jumped out at me. Oh, workbench, how nice. Oh, I could probably make the, uh, yeah, if I go get the slime mold stalks, I bet I can make a slime lantern here. I can! And, in fact, I could make two of them if I wanted. Oh, that is unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna have to leave behind the slime molds. I don't, no, I don't want to destroy them. Let's just drop them. And I can come back for them if I if I need them again. All right, cool. Well, while we have a real one, let's go ahead and and oh, use the use the here. rotten one. All right, we've got another thing to read here. Ham's test day 15 and no change from last week, but I feel we're on the cusp of something here and I've got an idea. I shot awake this morning sweaty with a memory of phonetic energy of fitness infomercials that popped on before the kids' Saturday morning cartoon shows. Oh, do you peeps remember that? The infomercials before like the actual stuff you wanted to watch comes on? I haven't actually watched TV in years. That's crazy. It's all like streaming services and YouTube for me now. Oh, man. 
Oh, that, that's weird to think about. Anyway, uh, and in those early hours, being annoyed at the greasy glow of skin stretched tight over bursting muscles, screaming about some new trivial invention, veins bulging with hot blood. Why are you writing this? <laughs> like, what is the be what is the point? This is just gross. But that moment and excite or movement and excitement, that's what's missing. Our welted petites cloaks oh these are words i don't know need to get pumped up with this inspiration we're moving forward with an admittedly odd hail mary procedure for generation two vascular grafting okay so this is where the muscle sprouts started to like become their own at the time of writing this we've already removed the cumbersome stem from the growth process okay so that's that explains why when we grow them it's literally just the sprout there's no like other plant to it Rendering these auxiliary buds longing for a new system to be a part of. I've had Burgle harvest the uh, appendicular artery off the old jarred appendix and have begun slicing them or splicing them into the sprout's roots, mending the union with a manner of agar glue. The systems of both man and plant are not that different after all, but could they be this compatible? Plant people! Oh, dude, wow, this light is actually like insanely good. What is in here? Oh! Oh, but my inventory, <laughs> dang it. Ugh, why does this fill? All right, I don't think we need sunken bones anymore. Um, I can make rope at home and spider silk is nice. I don't think we need diving bell spider chunks. So I'll drop that as well. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, game, stop giving me stuff. Oh, this is locked. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming this is about it. Yeah, okay, so now we need to go find the auxiliary breakers or whatever they're called to restore power. But yeah, well, hold on peeps. Look at Wendell here. He looks so much, um, well, I mean, he doesn't look great. Uh, he's been in the water far too long. He is moist. Like a, like what, what did, what did the wife call him? I don't remember, but he looks a lot better here than he did in the anthill lab picture. That's for, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah, we're in the water. All right, I'll see you peeps at one of the hatches, I guess. Oh. Wait a second, can I interact with this? Turn, oh, I can! Yay! Oh, okay, so are they all here then? And, and then I just have to mess with them here, or is this one here, and the other two are, are locked away? Here, what is this? No, this is another thing that we could turn. Huh. Okay, then what are the other, oh, this is locked away. Oh, how do I get here? Uh, maybe here? Is this open? Certainly not. Uh, um. I am running out of air again. Oh, this looks broken. Oh, now this is open. Or not open, this is closed. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, this area is actually pretty huge. What is this over here? Uh, why are the spider? Dude, this is like an actual like giant area back here. All right, you know what? I think we need to go back and make those fin flops just so I can move faster and, and we can get more places with this oxygen. Because we have a lot of oxygen, but our movement speed is still pretty slow even with our mutation and uh and i guess that's really about it helping our speed so i'm gonna go get some air back in the lab and then we're gonna head home real quick and make that that the, the flim flops flim flops fin flops there we go all right and here we go it took a quick water break hello tadpoles again are there are there frogs in this game oh that'd be cool to see one but also i feel like a little terrifying all right and oh Nice. Okay, we have air here. Let's go ahead and switch to these. And uh, was this place like useful at all? Yeah, yeah, Pete, raw science. All right, a key. Oh gosh, dang it. All right, another clue. All right, so this looks like a mailbox with a skull, a bunch of spoons or a slime mold. Uh, the mushroom is talking to fork puffer fish guy telephone. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to be honest, peeps. I'm having a hard time deciphering this. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if this means anything, it's going over my head. We've got mushroom, flower, tree, with whatever this symbol means, whatever those mean. Is this something I have to decipher later on? I don't know. This is obviously telling us how to get the key for the chest, but I don't know, peeps. I don't know, my brain's too small for this. Oh, look at all this upgrade material. Now, please tell me I can open this. Yes, look at that, peeps. This is why, 
This is why we uh we we went out of order here <laughs> because I knew this one room existed. Look at all this! Yes! 10! And what is that? I don't know. It looks like another piece of upgrade material though. Can I open this? No. Alright, and then slime mold. Okay. Well, that didn't really help us advance the lab, but tons of upgrade material, I guess. Okay, let me look at this one more time. Mushrooms! mutated for the key something it looks like it's maybe in the current or much like slime mold pristine slime mold with a fork telephone yeah i don't know i don't know i'm not smart enough for puzzles peeps i uh it make me feel dumb <laughs> all right anyway i guess let's head on out to the other thingamajigs there's the pond oh i guess okay cool there's a hatch right over here Okay, it should be around here. Oh, literally right here. Oh, it's not open. Is this the locked one? Ah, it's the locked one. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, I missed this somehow, like completely last time I was down here. And this is open though. All right, let me in. Ah, she smacked me in the face with the door. <laughs> A poor noggin. All right, what is, oh, okay. This is still underwater. I thought that was something on the roof. Okay, uh, something. Not good happened. Assistant manager key card. Dirty. Wow. All right. Just mountains of upgrade material, peeps. What is this? A left elf charm? A pebble village gossip elf reaches for something to the right. It feels important. Invincible shielding. I'm sorry. What? I've just... Wait. Sarah's charm. Okay. So, obviously, I have to get the other one to make, to make that, but... What is invincible shielding? Chance to automatically repair the shield on block. That's pretty cool. But uh, I still like my parry heal. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, what does this button do? Open. Oh. Okay, there's a door open somewhere. I don't really know what that is showing. Oh, the air! The air! No! No! Please, please, please. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. I am beyond dead. I I am so dead. All right. And, and, uh, no, please, please. Come on. Come on. Two, one. Oh, hey, it's a scab thing. Muck. All right. I, I uh, that is a, a, a correct name for what this would be. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't drown here, but let's see what this looks like. All right. The sad stab, uh, or, yeah, I think, I think that's what we are. All right. All right muck. Ew. I mean, yeah, fair enough. That uh, that that looks like pond water. <laughs> oh wait, wait a second, peeps. Hold on. All right, spider, leave me alone. Ah, oh, gosh, dude. I'm, all right, my parry timing is really bad today. But there, I saw it. There's another thing here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually dying. Go away, spider. Okay, but yeah, there's a. Oh, why? Why are they everywhere? All right, hold on. And you are. Don't you run away from me? Yeah, here. We have another thing. Oh my dude, there's like a billion spiders down here. Where where are you? Nope. Nowhere. Oh no! Stop! Why are there so many? Alright, well, I mean obviously they're to guard the, the the progression, right? But still, there's no reason for that. No reason for you to exist. Okay, let's go ahead and use this to move this way faster. Okay, so cool. So we have all of them except this one. This is the last one that we need. How? How? Right? Like, how do I get in here? Let's go ahead and use our other slime thing. Because maybe the light will will show us a way in. Be on the back. Oh, uh, nothing on the back. What is this? Something. Oh! <gasps> yes! We did it! I, I swear I checked that already. Game. But whatever. Maybe I didn't. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, is this another scab thing? Yay! All right, scab. Scab, what is this? Oh God, that's a corpse. Um. Anyway, frostbite. Yeah, yay. Again, very correct name for that. Uh. Oh no, no. Sad stab. Holy moly. All right. Rummage through the corpse. This guy was the toxicology person. A badge from an ominous scientist granting access to their specific department of work. Gas resist. Dust. Dust guard. Poison resist. All of that is good. And then we have a suspicious snapshot that I can't take. And uh, and then this, which I, I don't have time to read that. 
Okay, is there anything else here? Hold on, hold on. Slime lantern time! Oh, dude, this guy got, like, crushed. But he's been the closest, right? Like, he actually got into one of the labs. Okay, but speaking of getting into the labs, yes, turn the dial. There we go. All the breakers have been activated. Okay, is there anything in here? Anything, anything, anything? Oh, yes, there is. There's a thing. Oh, 70 seconds. Oh, 70 seconds is more than enough, I hope. And come on. Yes. One more. Two more. Three more. Gosh dang, dude, that was ridiculous. Okay, we now have enough stuff to, to upgrade our health or stamina again, which is pretty big. Okay, oh, this place is disorienting to be in, by the way. Okay, uh, where did I come in at? Because I need to get out or I will die. Oh my gosh, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into the lab and then also go ahead and read that note. Oh, nice, it's automatically opened. Interesting, I thought I would have to pull the switch in here. I guess not, though. All right, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get some air so we don't die. Come on, come on, just moving on along. This is still locked? Okay, fair enough. And there we go. All right, don't need this. Let's go ahead and read that new thing. Actually, first, let's look at the, the snapshot. What was it? It was snapshot four. This photo appears to be of a moldy castle spire sprouting up out of a moat. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't inspect it. There we go. Oh, much better. I mean, not really, though. <laughs> um, Sure. I have no idea where this would be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. A moldy castle spire sprouting up out of a moat. The only castle and moat that we've seen is in the is in the sandbox. And fair enough. Let's go ahead and read. Who is it? Is it this guy? Yeah, the toxicologist expedition member. Here, let's uh, full screen it. D. Spencer, pharmaceutical toxicology, December thirtieth, nineteen eighty nine. So I think the all the notes that came from the Ant Hill were nineteen ninety. So this is a whole year behind. Today, I head back below the depths. What I caught a glimpse of on my last frigid dive has piqued my interest. Some manner of cultivated fleshy variant of a cruciferous vegetable. If I mispronounce words, please don't hate on me too much. Uh, holistic remedies are not really my forte, but the benefits of sulforaphane in Brussels sprouts are well established. Could there be an enhancement of that compound lurking within these yoked monstrosities? Like, these people are like linguists, right? Like, look at all these extra words that they're using. I feel like I'm extra when I type, but these people blow me out of the water. Anyway, only a field study can answer that and maybe provide some insight onto the effects we're experiencing down here. I've been observing from a distance, but I saw the intern from the other day. So everyone's talked about the intern, we haven't found the intern's body. So he, ironically enough, has survived the longest, at least from what I can tell so far. Maybe his corpse is in the uh, is in the hedge lab, but maybe maybe some, maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe we actually fight the intern. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, he doesn't seem well. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> Absolutely avoiding from now on. I should not like to have another run in with the giant koi fish. Yes, that I'm I'm also glad we haven't had a run in with that. But she seems somehow less dangerous than the intern. Scary. Anyway, dip down, grab a sample and head back to base for some actual science. Kids haven't been around for weeks. I think it's safe. In yeah. Where where did the family go? Because it's clear that by the time that Wendell was in the anthill, like they were they're gone, right? They moved out or something because he's been small for forever. I think ever since he shrunk himself, maybe he's been small, but I don't know because, oh wait, no, no. I think he, he was able to embiggen himself again. It's just that we can't now because it's broken. Interesting. Anyway, so this person obviously came down to get a sample and then the thing collapsed and they are turbo mega dead. Okay, but here we go, peeps. Oh, I am, I am, I need, I need Don't water. Need there we it. go. I need two waters even. I'm big thirsty. All right, power grid control. Power managed remotely. Oh, it's already on. Okay, fair enough. I mean, managed remotely, but it automatically turns on. Hmm. All right, this is also still locked. Interesting. All right, anything in this corner? No, should I make another slime thing? Maybe. Oh yeah, obviously this is the, the now opened door. 
Okay, and hello! Any bosses in here? Okay, okay, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, I don't think I'll need the flippers in here. Oh, okay, it's automatic. I thought I was locked in. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead, get the spider stuff on. Where are my spider? Okay, I have it all on now. All right, I think we're ready. I wish I had some more food, but we should be okay. The food takes ah, ah, a while to go down. Okay, so first of all, what's over here? This is locked, probably opened by this. That is a yes, more. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so that, that was this locked door. Nice, so we can sleep. What time is it? It is 19. Let's not sleep because we'll demolish our food if we do that. Okay, cool. This is locked. So I guess we're, we're really being funneled in one direction here, peeps. Yeah. Yeah, we are. All right. Hello. Let me go ahead and equip my actual sword. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's uh let's check out the water first because why not? Just I'd like to knock this out of the way. All right. Hello, ocean. Nope, that's locked. All right, this is also not the ocean, but it might as well be the ocean as I put in my <laughs> my last video title. Okay, so we really are just being super funneled in a direction here. This looks like it's the muscle sprout stuff, maybe? Pumped up, that's meat. Uh, the muscle sprout looks like gum, maybe? A berry? A tomato with a window? James and the Giant Peach? A brain with a stem a br in the shape of a person? Uh the shape of a malformed person. Uh, onion makes Wendell cry. Stop. Also not Wendell. Uh, Wendell doesn't have a beard. Uh, stuff, chemicals. Yes, I I know science. I'm a sciencey person. Ooh, wow. Probably not. I do see that, uh, that page, by the way. All right, and more upgrade material. We're just getting an absurd amount of upgrade material from this lab, peeps. I'm really sad I didn't come here sooner because this would have been nice to have. Wow, there's a lot. Oh, no, that's right. No, what the? I'm going to the upgrade material. What can I drop for the upgrade material? I don't need diving bell spider chunks. Get out of here. Go, go away. All right, boom. There we go. And I think that's it for this room. So let's go ahead and read. Ham's test day 36. Generation 7 fitness stable. Vascular systems have evolved into something inspirational. Sprout musculature amplification research is going as swimmingly. Generation 4 being taught the rhythm of the flesh. The rhythm of the flesh. That sounds like a phrase that I would read in like the binding of Isaac, right? <laughs> not, not grounded. Uh, anyway, taught the rhythm of the flesh in a way the fungal networks could transmit was certainly key. What a sentence, right? It's not even done. Each node is performing in tandem at peak efficiency. Condensed crop cycle manipulation is accelerating generational hybrid evolution at an unprecedented rate. Hams is proving to be a highly advanced, uh, advantageous apparatus. Super dense Brussels sprouts, muscle sprouts, conducting a ripe symphony of proteins, lipids, carbohydrates via the push and pull of plant and muscle fibers. The application here for sustainable humane omnivorous diets are tantalizing notes. Consider an aerobics program for the lab monitor array to increase nitrification and introduce a motivational aspect to growth. Interesting. Plug data into Burgle's recipe module. Oh, we're gonna are we gonna get like some superfoods after this? Finally, something we can share a common bond over. Okay. Okay. Oh, a camera. Can I break this? Oh, I thought I did for a second. Okay, that is interesting. Tully's login. Can't open that. Uh, can, this is just, oh, audio log and food. I need the food. Okay, but uh, looks like we have to go back into the water here. Uh, where are my flip-flops? I already have them on. Wonderful. All right. Yay. Oh, this is broken open. Uh-huh. Right. Right. So what disaster happened here? Right? Because at the Black Ant Hill, obviously the Black Ants attacked. But uh, I don't know what, what, what went on here, peeps. Like, did the koi fish attack? Did the pressure just get to this place? I don't know. I hear more murder spiders, though, which are about to become murdered spiders. Which also, why are they in here? Like, there's no air 
for you to dive with, and there's no... There's no prey for you to eat in here either, so why are you here? Just to die? Just to die. All right, I saw a thing down here. I believe... Ooh. Oh, this is just clay. Oh, the clay is blocking something. Oh, here we go, peeps. Check this out. Oh, dang it. All right, well, um, didn't mean to put that away. Yeah, if I switch to this mutation... Uh, no, wait, no, it's this one. We, we can one-hit all of this. Oh, what? What? I was one-hitting this on the surface. Maybe we get a nerf because we're in water. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, a lot of scab things today. Ginger spice. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, oh we have to go to night mode now. All right, ginger spice. Ooh. Nice. I like corporate issue a lot more, though. Definitely interesting. Let's go ahead and get back to the spear and, uh, and, and continue on our way here. Oh, that's a lot of... A lot of clay. Uh, that's a dead bug goo. And dude, this place like really is not okay. And okay, we're coming out of the water here. This has been a really interesting lab so far. Way better than than the dang bug lab because or, uh, ant lab because I'm not being swarmed by ants 24/7. Lots to read though. Oh, test kitchen. Did he try to feed this to his family? Results for Dr. Wendell Tully prepared by Burgermeister Meister Burger. Ingredient assessment. Test samples are currently at 0.833% of target production size. Is this the percentage that we saw on the on the whiteboard? Can't remember. Complex and somewhat tense muscular nuggets. Ooh, dude, I would love chicken nuggets right now. I'm actually pretty hungry. I should make dinner soon. Anyway, several flaps overlap to protect a central organ. All entirely an innate sense of fitness and survival compels them to fight against preparation oh wow a, a smack of the spatula calms them right down it's alive i mean uh, yeah it's a plant but like this seems like it's conscious and it knows it's being murdered into it results onion initial recipe modular analysis indicates use as a replacement for dry aged beef liver unexpected that is unexpected Compiling flavor profile compatibility. Onion. So it tastes like an onion? I guess that's why we saw an onion in the uh, on the whiteboard. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, do I? Oh, wow. I don't have a, a animation for like turning. So I just like hover. <laughs> I've never noticed that. Oh, whoa, no, wait. If that's locked, what do I do? Oh, duh, in here. Okay, Um. audio log. Let's go ahead and consume both of these. All right, is there anything else behind this before I check? Okay, let's let's listen to the audio log first. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior. Oof. I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. No, Tully. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Yeah, I can imagine that's good for a body. Trace asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. Oh, sunk cost what fallacy. Will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers. A gaggle. If this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. Say what you want about Wendell, like, terrible husband and god-awful father, but, I mean, dedicated man of science. All right, mash keys. Yay. Biodome auto mode. Boot the biodome terminal. Where is the biodome at? I guess uh, that's where we're going next, right? The biodome? So now we just got to find the biodome. So that's, yeah, that's why there was an onion. Oh, it is. It is the percentage. Okay, cool. Or, how did you get here, sir? I don't, I don't like you. Oh, there's multiple of them. Oh my, ow. Oh, dude, they're slapping me around. All right, you know what? I'll take it. In a straight melee, I win. All right, and I also have bandages. So that's why I, I did that. Okay, so they came from somewhere. What? I, how, how did you guys get here? Why are there so many of you now? All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, excuse, excuse me. There we go. Equip this just for the range. Oh, the damage is awful, but I definitely outrange him now. And there. Ow. There we go. Okay, at least it's not the arc ones. Oh, wow. All the doors are open now. Okay, so they probably came from a, a closed door. Is this a drain area? What's the point of this room? This is probably where all the robots were, actually. Okay. 
Um, okay, here's this. And I believe... Oh, this, this looks like a thing. This looks like progress, peeps. Okay, there's footsteps. There's footprints, rather, I mean. Where... Okay, these were always here. Were they always here? I feel like I probably would have noticed these. Um, is there someone in here with me right now? I don't feel like these are Tully's, because... And they stop. Why do they stop? I don't like that they stop. Okay, anyway, more bandages. Inventory full. Uh, can I consume this? There we go. Hey, okay. uh, I'm going to consume that as well, because why not? Oh my gosh. Okay, a lot of robots in here. Okay, go away. Oh wait, why? I'm not even trying to parry these guys. Can I parry you? Okay, well, that's not a parryable thing. Here we go. Can I parry you? I can! Why have I not been trying to parry them? I'm so unintelligent today. <laughs> okay. Lots of robots. What is this? Oh, I found an Arker thing. Nice. I don't know what this is. Uh, another box with more upgrade material. Thankfully, my inventory is not too full for that. Resource surveyor, don't need that. Ah, oh, hams test day seven. Okay, interesting. We're back in the early days of hams. Nominal results, not even marginally different from the initial pretest runs. Nitrogen cycle levels remain optimal and the local fungal network appears robust. Brussels sprouts seem slightly loose and fairly limp. They need something to promote growth, but I can't put my finger on it. Other phalangeal observations. Trudy finds her ring better suited to the koi pond. Oh, no. So she threw it in here. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Or, I don't know, man. Like, I feel for Tully, but I also don't, because, like, he's bringing this all on himself, right? No, it's work on making calls to the house. Tell Burgle to fish that ring out of the pond. Burgle never got to that. Uh, back. Uh, oh, this is a poem? The fish wife's ring. It sank to the ground and sparkled by light. It was lost and then snarfed a snankle coy's bite. I totally pronounced that. Her big wiggly mouth, a glistening thing. It swallowed up the hole, the glittering ring. Twin barbels flicker. Her fins, they did flap. It appears she was choking. Her dorsal, I did slap. Hurled to the beyond, the ring was now free, as well as one eye, which then winked at me. Are you my wife now? Asked with my heart big and true. Up gurgled her response. Aye, it's your fish wife. My name's Trudy too. I think Wendell's going a little crazy. <laughs> so yeah, obviously, Bear just is falling apart at a rapid pace. Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to go ahead and scoop, scoop, and then scoop. Okay, so very interesting. Tully demolishing his, his relationship. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's see where the other doors here go before I continue on. Hello? Anything of note in here? Did I come from here? Oh, I think so, because yeah, this is where the footprints are. Okay, so I came from here. So we have upstairs and also this direction. Let's, let's see what's over here first. Well, actually, hold on. I think upstairs is probably a dead end. So let, let's go upstairs first. And actually, there we go. Okay. Any more robots need demolishing up here? No. Oh, the muscle sprouts. Yes. I need a lot of these because they're so useful for the smoothies. All right. I don't need webs. I can kill spiders whenever I want. All right. Dude, there's so many. There's so many. How many of these can I hold? Nope. Oh, all right. 10. I guess that answers my question. I discovered the pond dome. Dude, there are so many muscle sprouts here. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, let's eat one. I'm pretty sure I read that it'll hurt us if I try to eat it, but let's see. Yeah, it does. And that, was, that did not give us much <laughs> much hunger. Okay, so obviously this is, this is what we're supposed to be doing. A super chip and a duper disc. Yes, this data disk contains firmware for the super duper machine. In the Oak Lab, loading disks activates the machine's firmware and increases the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex objects. I haven't had to use that yet. Okay, but here we go, Pond Super Chip. There we go. Wonderful. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Another, oh no, dude, I hate, I hate this. 
This makes me so sad. Okay, here we go. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable, trespassed the unforgivable. You missed Thanksgiving dinner. Oof. Who can blame Trudy? Oof. I know that I pushed things to the breaking point and that she has grit her teeth and borne it. She told me that she could not bear to watch me destroy my life, let alone hers, the children's, in single-minded pursuit of this technology. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Never pretty rough, Wendell. Never in years of knowing her has she given me such a cold, immovable ultimatum. Oh. Uh, my science or my family. That's why but they're the gone. She could see. I am doing this for them. I understand it has been hard. It has been harder on no one more than myself. Kind of, but time, also, you I have a family. To them the wonders that are so, so close now, they would understand, wouldn't they? I don't think they would. And if they did not, perhaps they never understood me at all. Oof. Oof. All right, man. So, and this is like the second lab we're supposed to go to after the, the hedge. So they've been gone for a while. All right, anyway, connection error, reboot required. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. Oh, hey! Cool! What does that sound? Ooh. Ooh. The beats. Okay. Auto mode! Land connected. Oh, this is... Oh! Okay, so this is where they were growing? Interesting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is this to like, oh wow. Uh huh. Is this to like encourage the muscle sprouts? <laughs> oh, is it just repeating? Yeah. What is this? Oh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> How bizarre. Okay, again, where did I come from? Was it here? I think it was here. All right. Anyway, Tully, let's. Let's see what the rest of this lab is about. Cause now is it this? No, this is where I came from. Let's go. Let's go over to this one now. I am so confused because like, do the muscle sprouts actually benefit from that? Probably. Oh, okay. I guess back to the water we go. Where's the, uh, I need the auxiliary chip as well. So where do we go to get that? Because I definitely don't want to miss out on that. Okay, let's go to the fin flops to run this. All right. Where is this going to lead us? Uh, just out? Just out. Fair enough. Okay. Um, oh, I recognize this place now. Yeah, this is open. Okay, well, where is... Yeah, the missing burgle chip. Where does this take us? It's in here? Where is in here? Oh. Oh, this is where we did the key card. Right, right, right. So, where do I go to get to the burgle chip now? Oh, you know what? Don't tell me it's in here. Is it in? Is it in this chest? It's in the freaking chest. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it indeed. Okay. All right. I'm going to go look at the thing again and, and, and try to decipher what that wants from us to make, to get like, to get access to the key. Cause I had no, I, I, I could not tell at all what it wanted, but maybe if I actually go like, try to really look at it, it'll, it'll be more clear. Also, one of these doors was locked last time. What is this? Oh, the, that every time. Oh, is it this? Was this locked? Here we go. Now this is unlocked. Oh, oh, and here's the key thing. No, that's not the key thing. All right, hold on. I'll, uh, I'll be back. All right, peeps. I, I'll be honest. I, I looked it up because <laughs> I, I was literally staring at it for like five minutes and I couldn't figure it out, but it's here. Like, I, what? Like, so, so the clock one made sense. When, once you peeps told me it was a clock, it was obviously a clock. But what, like, how am I supposed to interpret this small, tiny cave being back here as from that drawing? I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm dumb, but like, I don't know. I don't know how I would have found this without, uh, without either you peeps telling me or, or me looking it up because, oh gosh, dang it. Because like, this is just so random. Such a small, Tiny cave, like I wouldn't even. Oh, is there another guy here? Just you dying. Okay, but uh, yeah, I don't know how I would have known. I, I wouldn't have known. I think is is the point I'm trying to make. Right, anyway, go away, spider. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, so apparently it's somewhere in here. This seems to be a pretty linear cave. Ooh, water. Or air, rather. Nice, nice. Uh, no, that's just a pebble. Okay, I mean, I might as well accept the free water. Oh, there's so many spiders. Please. Oh, there's so many. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Where is this supposed key? This looks like it's the end, right? Oh! Yep. Just right here. The mossy key. Bruh. All right. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Again, I could just be dumb and it could be obvious or I missed some other kind of hint. That's just a spider butt. But from that one little thing, I I don't think I ever would have been able to tell that there was something here unless unless I just started exploring randomly. Oh, gosh, dang it. What can I drop? I don't want to I don't want to break my lantern here, but I got whatever. I'm going to have to make a new one anyway for when we go to the the hedge lab. So I guess it's fine for for the time being. We can enjoy a little bit of extra light to see what's in this chest. But here we go, peeps. Wabam. There it is. And also another one of the supers. There we go. Or mega, mega milk molars. We only have one now, which is not enough to get really anything, I don't think. But there we go. Sunken outpost burgle ship. All right. Let's, uh, well, actually... I kind of want to save turning these in for the next episode because that's what I usually do. Well, I mean, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll turn in the chips here we, just because we're literally right next to the lab. Like, why not? Just why not? We're here. I'll do it. And the next episode, we can go right to the right to the um, edge lab. Oh, hey, Burgle. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, yeah. Can I? I had another dream. Oh, so we could talk to him about this. Ah, more of your fragmented memories. Let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger. Burger. They are a common side effect of the shrinking process. Memory loss? The memories, that is. Not the burger metaphors. I figured that part. how I am programmed to understand <laughs> the world. Good to know, Burgle. How can I be of assistance? Okay, well, the scientists were experimenting me with when I was tiny. Something about Project Orc. I feel like this is the more prudent one. So let's go ahead and ask, ask this one first. Yes, they were following the ominous practical science manual, it wow. is likely they were documenting side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few. Yeah, like the memory loss. Memory loss. There it is. Oh, yeah. Another minor ailment. I have had to drink a lot of water being tiny. But as for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! I mean, I feel like Wendell would have something to say about no long-term side effects. Uh, anyway, Project Orc. Project Orc? That is certainly not something that Dr. Tully ever discussed with me. Dun dun. Covenant requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. Okay. I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. Laughing out loud. What a laughing out team. loud. But okay. Whatever Project Orc is, the name does not sound good. It does not. Okay, well, How um. Can I, help you today? I got another auxiliary chip. Uh, more chips. Oh, 2,500 raw sites. Heck yeah. I wonder what this will unlock. Hand it over and look. Mm, much better. Check the yep. ASL Terminal Science Shop for the new recipe. I will do that, but first, I have another chip Mr. for you, Mr. Peter Boggs. Wow, thanks, Burgle. Really, only 2,000 for that one. All right, I guess I'll give my answer to, are, do the, are the chips like in order? Because I did the ant hill, which is supposed to be the last one first. So does that break the progression of the super chips as well? Or does it not matter which order you give them the super chips? It's always going to be the same kind of train of dialogue. Processing. Processing. Amazing. I always despised going down into the pond lab. Yeah, you're a robot. That doesn't really work. Great for swimming. Thank you for making that journey on my behalf. Burgle, you know you would not go down there. You didn't even get the wedding ring. All of these great m memories are m -m memories back. Well, well, well. Some good news. Okay, so it is in order. Vegan cocktail recipe is now restored. Uh, of but course. Not all of it, unfortunately. Uh, of course. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java matic. Java matic. Does that mean anything to you? My parents don't let me drink coffee. 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 Ah, that is it. 
It is Trudy's coffee maker. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying I have any idea how this fits into the equation. Maybe Wendell just wanted a coffee However, while he was writing that data. Solving this mystery, but we are still not done. There one more. One more super chip to go. Yep. The hedge, or not hedge, the haze. Again, I just can't stop. Oh no! My light died. Cool. Okay, so wait. What? So I'm confused. Obviously the the upper hedge is a whole area. Like we have a lot of stuff to do here, but it sounds like once we get this, oh, I guess we need to, we need to then make the embiggening cocktail, right? So that's probably what the upper yard is. There's all the ingredients for that. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, but here we go. Before we end things off, let's go ahead and see what we have unlocked. 17.7K. Oh, I have three molar things now. Yes. Oh, do I save them for more mutations though? Or do I go to more health? I think, I mean, we can't go wrong with more health, right? All right, but here we go. The science shop, buoyant foundations. Ooh, cool. That so we could build on the water, curved bases. Ooh, yes. And then cookbook pond, a boatman fin soup. Fair enough. A fine fin soup made from ethically sourced boatman fins. Oh boy, a uh, hearty enough, oh, just hearty enough to be considered a whole meal. Gives us swim speed, makes sense. Relatively easy to make as well. A spaghetti flea, acorn bits combined with lily pad wax form a perfectly unique rendition of this classic dish completed by an assortment of water flea meatballs. Ooh, okay, diver. I mean, a lot of this stuff is nice, but am I really going back into water? Okay, well, anyway, tadpole, ta Tad Paloka pudding. Is that supposed to be like tapioca? Surpri no, Burgle, please. Thank you, Burgle. Surprisingly creamy blend of water-based ingredients with a bit of chili from an ice, or chill from an ice caps of breath mint. That's expensive. Okay, but I guess it's really good for what it gives you if you care about swimming. I don't think I really do though. Okay. Anyway, a splat burst recipe. <gasps> oh, a bomb that's covered in a sticky substance attaches a sticky bombs. Yes, that sounds awesome. A fin flops upgrade. Yeah, not useful, not useful, but sure. Oh, diving lantern upgrade. That is actually useful. Thank you. Okay, cool, cool, but a little disappointing if I'm gonna be honest, but uh, I don't know, maybe maybe now we get the milk molder thing. Mmm, yes. Yeah, because we still have a ton left over now. All right, cool. Um, I, like, I'm, should I get this, peeps? Are we gonna go back into water? I don't think, I'm, I'm, I definitely don't think I'm gonna be building in the water, so I'm not gonna get these, but I don't know. All right, but I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here, peeps. I am currently dying of thirst. There was a... A water thing yeah there it is all right slurp and slurp all right thank you all so much for watching the next episode will not be the last of the lower yard because we need to kill the brood mother like i've mentioned but we will finish with the super chips we oh oh my gosh that is a lot of unlocked stuff but yeah the haze lab is the last thing that we need to do and ever to take on this wolf spider duo don't really care to either. Oh my gosh, yeah. We just we're just learning all the stuff right now. But yes, peeps. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a watery one. A lot less stressful than the, you know, the the journey we had into the Black Ant Hill stab. And yeah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Alright, but yeah, th thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. Away from me, stink beetle. I'm still learning stuff. <laughs>